Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for GWBC Radio's Open for Business. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, broadcasting live from the Georgia Aquarium Oceans Ballroom for 2023 GWBC Lace Awards Gala. Ladies Achieving Continuous Excellent. So excited to be talking to my guest right now, Madeline Jones, Director of Operations at GWBC. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Now, are you excited about tonight's event? I am excited. I'm always excited to spend time with our uh, women business owners and corporate sponsors, so it's going to be great. So what, what can people expect? What are some of the things that you're looking forward to this evening? Well, I am responsible for the team that manages the certification process. And so um, we have tons of applications that come through every single week, every day of the year. And I'm looking forward to putting faces with the names of all the oh, people. Oh, that's right. Because you've yeah. probably seen them or heard through email and, and over uh, Zoom or something like that. But you may not have met them in person, right? Exactly. And so I we receive their actual documents. So that would be all of their legal documents. And so we literally feel like we know them. Exactly. Um, pretty we've seen some, you know, the history of the business. <laughs> Who started it? Where were they? You know, we're looking at, you know, financial documents. <laughs> We're looking at who the owners are, all their resumes, all the things, the criteria for certification. So I, I literally feel like by the time um, an event like tonight comes around, I'm so excited because we get to put these faces with the names of people who, again, we memorize the details <laughs> in our head of who these people are. So I'm excited. Now, what uh, for somebody who isn't certified, what like what can they expect to go through the certification process? Like what are some of the things that they need in order to, you know, get through? this process because it is arduous because there it's important to get it all right and you can't no one just because you say i'm a woman-owned business doesn't mean that you are really you got to jump through some hoops right that's right and so we certify women-owned businesses that can legally demonstrate that they are at least 51 percent woman-owned controlled operated and that they operate in a way that's independent of any other um, business and so we look through those legal documents to make sure that they are legally woman-owned 51 percent minimum we my team the certification team does all the vetting of those applications so we do the initial intake of those applications we do the auditing which is the line by line of every single piece of paper that comes in which is which is very very rigorous and tedious however we want to make sure that there's integrity in our process and that if we give someone that seal of approval saying they are a woman-owned business that we've gone through the process of making sure that they are legally so and that process takes 60 to 90 days. Part of the reason why is because we do look at every single sheet of paper um, for every business that submits. Right now, we sit at around 1,245 applications or certified businesses between Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. And we're looking for ways to continue to make the process more efficient so we can certify more women, do more outreach, things like that. So yes, the process, it takes about up to three months. But usually, once people have submitted their applications and they're good to go, we roll right along. And it's important because a lot of the value that you're going to get from being a certified business is that you're going to have access to maybe some enterprise level organizations that are looking for these specific types of people to do business with, right? So you get fast tracked and this could really change the trajectory of your business if you do this. Absolutely. One of the things that is important to remember is that our certification process does not guarantee that anyone will secure a contract. But what it does do is it makes them competitive in the market for the contract. And so we are looking to certify because there are companies, corporations, and the government that are both um, looking to spend money with women-owned businesses, also with minority-owned businesses, also with veteran-owned businesses and whatnot. But for us, for women-owned businesses, and they access our database to make sure that that vetting process is really done for them. And so they can search the database of all of our women-owned businesses um, because we this is a national certification that we process locally. And so they can use it nationally even though we process it locally. And so they look into our database to see who are the staffing agencies, who are the construction companies, who are, you know, whatever the business need is. And we take the vetting of that, you know, making sure that if they have this set aside for to to spend with women-owned businesses that at least this group of women-owned businesses they know um, have been vetted as such. And that spend isn't just a little 
bit of money, right? It That's, is not. It's billions and billions of dollars. It's billions. Last earlier this year in April, I went to the top corporations luncheon, and it was uh, Maria and I, who's the director of programs. It was our uh, second day on this <laughs> job. We both started in April, and you know the numbers in the room: two billion here, four billion there. <laughs> it starts adding up to million. real money, right? It added up. <laughs> and I, I said, I said, I've never been in a room where it was like a flex. <laughs> how much you spend right. with women-owned businesses. It was exciting. It was a great welcome and introduction to the organization, but it was very exciting. And I'm very proud of um, all the companies that come together to really support women-owned businesses in this way. And for people who want to learn more about um, getting certified themselves or getting recertified, if maybe they've done it in the past, what's the best kind of pl- way to connect with you? Sure. I think the best way is to go to our website. It is... Um, for the Greater Women's Business Council. So that is gwbc.org. Um, our certification team uh, photos and pictures are there. You can email us directly at certification at gwbc.org. You can also reach out to me directly at mjones at gwbc.org. But we would love to hear from you. I'm always open to questions and walking you through um, as best I can high level um, through your application. But just know that our goal is to make sure that we audit these documents well and that we really um, set people up for success who want to compete in this market. Well, congratulations on all you do. I mean, you're doing such important work and we appreciate you. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. All right. We'll be back in a few at GWBC Lace Awards Gala 2023.